Thank you for watching our videos on Small Guy on Top. All of our videos are designed with you in mind. You're an entrepreneur, or you're a small business owner, or you run a business all by yourself, or you are a stale SME looking for help, or you're a struggling artist launching your career. These videos are for all of you. I hope you learned a lot from our videos and that you will go to our site at smallguyontop.com for articles and downloadable materials. Okay, this time we're going to look at area here, which is your dashboard, as you can see, Sweet CRM dashboard. And uh, these are called dashlets. Each one of these items, my calls, my meetings, what they do is they give you data that you need. So it'll just show you data right here. It'll list your calls, or you can tell it to filter the calls based on some sort of parameter. So you only see calls that meet certain criteria. And that's true also of meetings, uh, of accounts, top 10 opportunities. All of these things can be filtered. So when you log in, you see only the things that are important to you. Now, this is the default setup. So you might not be satisfied with that. You have two columns. You can change that as well and make it three columns if you want. But then your data gets kind of crunched. What you're looking at is on my large, uh, my large screen. So... Um, yeah, it can get quite crowded. You can also drag and drop these and put them in different orders, different columns, so you can make it more visible, put it in the you know, order where the most important things are at the top. I would say my top 10 opportunities, that's going to be my top item for me. Uh, calls, for sure, uh, but meetings, you don't want to miss a meeting face-to-face. -face. Okay, a call that you don't want to also but a meeting is even more important because they have to take time out of their schedule and go somewhere to meet you. So that's definitely a priority for me above calls. My accounts, nah, I don't even really need that here. Leads, well, it depends on how active I am on, on following up on leads, if I'm the one doing it. Activity stream, well, we'll get into that later. But let's say you don't see something here that you want. Well, you go up to actions and you go add dashlets. And then up here, it's going to show you tons of stuff you can add to your CRM. See, this is scrollable. Every one of these modules you can add as a dashlet. Your projects, your products, your invoices, all kinds of great things. You can also go and in, uh, insert charts. Um, there are tools. You can even insert a web page. And that way you can watch a certain web page. Maybe you're watching stock prices. Maybe you're, maybe you're into Bitcoin, right, or cryptocurrency. You can put in an address here and click to add it, okay? Uh, you can also put a news feed, as you can see. So these modules are very easy to add. Let's go ahead and add one. I don't have any data in this database because I don't want to add anything into the database until I do it with you seeing it. So let's say you've got uh, invoices. There we go, my invoices. So you click on that, it's already added in the background. You can continue to add more if you want or close. My invoices is already there. And then you can put that wherever you want. Let's say we put it over here on the right. Uh, well, let me grab it and take it all the way over to the right. There we go. So I've got certain things on the left, certain things on the right. Um, I'm going to say accounts go over there because that's kind of like invoices. Leads go over here because it's kind of like calls and meetings. And that looks pretty nice. Now let's say you want to add another panel, so you have multiple dashboards. Well, you can do that right here. Add a tab. Okay, so we've got to get our terminology right. My apologies. It's a tab. Enter dashboard name. Let's say we want to do uh, one called charts and just keep our charts over there. Oh, yeah, I thought I had cap locks on. Charts. We'll call it charts. How many columns do you want in it? One, two, or three? The default is one, although this front one is in two columns. So let's go ahead and say two columns anyway. Add tab. Okay. Now it's refreshing. And here it is, charts, right there in gray. So you can switch to that. See, the main one's called Sweet CRM Dashboard. And the next one's called Charts. Okay. And then you can add whatever you need there. Let's add dashlets. Let's go to charts. We'll add opportunities by lead source, by outcome, and hit close. So now we've got that there. If we had data, it would show up and give us some charts. That's it for dashlets and tabs right now. Later, we'll get into editing 
a dashlet and setting it up once we have some data in our database.